It's Reveille. Did it really take a debate like Thursday nights for Democrats and the media to see how mentally and physically weak President Biden is? How incapable he is of making decisions that can mean life and death. One would truly have to be so ideologically blind to not have written some of the headlines that were written on Friday long before the debate happened. The New York Times. To serve his country, President Biden should leave the race. The Atlantic. Time to go, Joe. From his stilted walk to the podium, to his mumbling through responses, to the blank stare between questions, there was no spinning Joe Biden as a capable, alert leader who should have the nuclear codes and be able to call our young men and women to war. The question shouldn't be whether or not he should stay in the race. The question should be, why is he even still the president with all the awesome and frightening power that brings? Who is running the country? It isn't Joe Biden. And no one should be okay with that. We are being lied to by his staff, the deep state that surrounds him, and Democrat politicians who turn a blind eye to it all. But now there are no more lies to be told, no more covering for Joe, no more half-truths from his press secretary about cheap fake videos of his stumbling about and wandering off. None of this is funny. None of this is something to be taken as just politics. Threats to democracy, insurrection, obstruction of justice? What do you call the fact that unelected bureaucrats are making decisions and hiding it from the electorate? The American people deserve a competent leader and to know who is really running the country. I'm Jeannie Ives. To learn more, listen to my radio show Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. and sign up for my newsletter at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.